Okay, in this video we're going to solve the following inscribed quadrilateral. Basically what we're going to look for is angle ABC, this one right here, angle BAD, this angle right there, angle BCD, this angle right here, and finally these two arcs, arc AD, this little missing part right here, and the arc BC, which is this arc right here. Okay, so let's get it going here. So first, angle ABC, how do we find that? Well, we know that when you have an inscribed quadrilateral inside of a circle, the opposite angles are supplementary. Remember that means 100, add up to 180 degrees. So we know that angle ABC should be equal to 114 plus this angle here, ABC, our one that we're looking for, and that will be equal to 118 degrees. We subtract 114 from both sides, and you get X is equal to 66 degrees. So now we have our first answer, 66 degrees. Okay, now what, what else can we find? Well, we also know that angle ABC is an inscribed angle for this arc right here, right? Arc AC. Now we have this portion of the arc already labeled as 100. And now we also know that this should be half of this whole angle or this whole arc right here. So two times this would be 132, right? Just two times 66 is 132. We know we already have 100 degrees. So this part here, AD, should be equal to 32 degrees. Okay, so now we have arc AD is equal to 32 degrees. We can go a couple ways now. We also know that the circumference of a whole circle is 360 degrees, and we're missing only one part, arc BC, which is another thing that we need to find. So we'll add up 142 plus 32 plus 100, and we should get let me see, that would be, what, 70, 174, 274. So we would say 360 minus 274 should give us our arc BC, right? And 360 minus 274, actually I had it here, but I just lost it, so let me just do a quick subtraction. There's 6, there's 5 is 86. So we know that this arc right here is 86 degrees. Okay, we're getting there slowly. Now we need to find angle B, A, D. Now, what do we know? Angle B, A, D should be half of this intercepted arc. And we just figured out that this whole arc is 186 degrees. So BAD will be equal to one half of arc BD, which is one half of 100 plus 86, which turns out to be 186. So that should be 90, half of 186 is equal to 90 three degrees. So now we have angle BAD at 93 degrees. And we also know now that inside a quadrilateral, all four angles add up to 360 degrees. We have three of the four. Let's add up 66, 93, and 114. So 66, 93, 114 gives us 
10, 13 carry the 1, 17 carry the 1, 273. Let's subtract that from 360 and minus 273. There's a 7, there's a 5, 87 degrees. And that's how we find every single one of these angles and arcs. Okay, I hope that was helpful.